In this video, we explore Crypto Mate in Blender and how it can be useful for selectively modifying objects in the scene during compositing. We start from an empty scene and add two simple objects like a cube and a sphere. The idea is to create a simple animation and then adjust certain properties of these objects during the compositing stage, such as the color of the cube. To demonstrate the effectiveness of Crypto Mat in animation, we will add motion blur to the cube to highlight how Crypto Matic can perfectly isolate the blur generated by the motion blur and correctly modify the object's color. Then we move on to the camera and create a simple animation where the cube quickly passes in front of the sphere. This is the basic animation. Next, we activate Cycle as the rendering engine in motion blur. Moreover, we can increase the shutter factor to make the motion blur more pronounced. Let's switch to shading mode and create two simple materials. Now let's render a frame where the cube passes in front of the sphere. As you can see, there is a clear motion blur effect at the point where the cube and the sphere overlap. The goal is to change the color of the cube in post-production and explore how to do this precisely using CryptoMat. Before proceeding, remember to activate CryptoMat in the Render Passes section. Now we can move on to the compositing panel and check the box labeled Use Nodes. We can add the Viewer node to display the scene. The next step is to add the CryptoMat node. Let's open the Mask menu and select CryptoMat. At this point, we need to choose the object to mask. By using the plus button, we select the object. When hovering over the underlying render, the object is immediately indicated to us. In my case, I want to select the cube. Although I could choose multiple objects in the same mask, I only need to isolate the cube. We have created a mask of the selected object that we can display by connecting the mat output to the viewer. The associated alpha mask appears correctly blurred in areas with motion blur. Now we can use the mask we created to selectively modify the object's color. To do this, we add a curves node and connect it to the render layer, using the mask generated by the crypto mat as the alpha factor. If I change the color, the modification only occurs on the masked object. As noticed, the mask has been correctly applied even in the semi-transparent areas with motion blur, demonstrating the usefulness of Crypto Mata in compositing to selectively modify objects in the scene. Now, it is possible to isolate and manipulate the sphere or any other object after rendering without the need to re-render the entire scene. 